from the Four Seasons Hotel in Sydney, Australia. It's the 20th Annual Ethnic Business Awards, brought to you by NAB, Telstra, Etihad Airways, Austrade and MBF. With your Master of Ceremonies for the evening, Ms Tracy Spicer. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'd like to acknowledge the Cadigal people, the first people of this land. Before I formally open proceedings and welcome all of our distinguished guests, let's take a moment to place this evening in context. Tonight is the 20th time these awards have been presented, believe it or not. Each year, they've gone from strength to strength. Each year, nominations have grown in both number and diversity. And each year, the decisions that our esteemed judges have had to make have become just that little bit more difficult. The Ethnic Business Awards are now the longest running televised business awards in Australia and are recognised as one of the most prestigious recognitions of commercial endeavour in the country. Clearly, these awards have come a long way from humble beginnings, just like the people whose endeavours it celebrates. And that's what this evening is all about. It's about people who've come to a new land, seeking out new opportunities, overcoming obstacles, shouldering aside difficulties, and eventually succeeding, sometimes beyond even their own hopes and expectations. We are here tonight to celebrate that contribution, not just for this 20th year, but for the years that have gone before and those that are yet to come. And what a contribution it is. Prime Minister Kevin Rudd, honourable members of parliament, dignitaries, sponsors, members of the media, guests and of course all our finalists. Tonight it is my very great pleasure to welcome you to the grand ballroom of the beautiful Four Seasons Hotel located here on the foreshore of Sydney for this, the 20th annual Ethnic <laughs> Business Event. Now, the occasion of these 20th awards coincides with the release of a book by the founder of the awards, Mr Joseph Asif. This isn't a plug, there's no pecuniary interest register here, Joseph in fact didn't even know that I was going to mention this. But the book, In Someone Else's Shoes, is an account of Joseph's own journey from the small town of Hardin in Lebanon to Sydney, Australia, literally in someone else's shoes. 
shoes that were borrowed to make the journey. It's also the story of how he subsequently built his own business here and was eventually able to buy a couple of pairs of shoes of his own. I mention the book because it's intended to be a parable that may be used to access and understand the Australian immigrant experience as a whole. Every three minutes and 11 seconds, a new migrant arrives in this country. None of those people come here without the hope of bettering themselves and, in the process, making a positive contribution to their adopted home. Some of them, like our finalists tonight, like Joseph himself, succeed beyond all hopes and expectations. But all of them strive. When you travel in someone else's shoes, the journey is hard, but it teaches you more and it makes the arrival all that more fulfilling. This year, we've asked our judges to assess some remarkable and inspirational journeys. Each one reflects a different facet of the immigrant experience, just a part of a much greater whole. It's our hope that in recognising the few, we also honour the many. Let me introduce you to the people who've been charged with making this very difficult judgment. Don Argus is the chairman of BHP Billiton, the world's largest diversified resource company. Now, Don has a long-standing relationship with the Ethnic Business Awards. During his time as CEO and managing director of the National Australia Bank, Don offered his full support to ensure the continuing recognition of migrant contribution to Australia's economic development and to Australia's cultural and social fabric. Don is unfortunately unable to be with us tonight, but hey, he takes a great picture. Someone who can be here is professional director and business consultant Eve Crestani. Eve specialises in strategic project management and business solution implementation. She's chairman of Mercer's trustee company and a director of the Australian Unity Group, Pillar Australia and Booking.com. Following an enviable track record in executive management at the most senior levels in the finance sector, Eve has been instrumental in the development and implementation of critical strategies for many large organisations and e-commerce businesses. This is Eve's 10th year as a judge for the Ethnic Business Awards. Please make her feel welcome. Alan Ginchell is the Executive Director of the Lowy Institute for International Policy. He has a wide background in international policy making and analysis and has written and spoken extensively on Australian foreign policy, on Asian regional relations and on the development of global and regional institutions. He was later First Assistant Secretary in the International Division of the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet. From 1993 to 1996, he was Foreign Policy Advisor in the Office of the Australian Prime Minister, Paul Keating. Please give him a round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> Dr Ziggy Switkowski, a former Chief Executive of Telstra, Optus and Kodak Australasia, is currently a non-executive director of Suncorp, Tabcorp, HealthScope and Opera Australia. In 2006, he chaired the Prime Minister's review of uranium mining, processing and nuclear energy and is now the chair of the Australian Nuclear Science and Technology Organisation. <laughs> and last, but by no means least, the lovely Carla Zampatti is one of Australia's fashion pioneers. Carla has been recognised with a number of Australian and international awards for achievement and excellence. She's also been named Bulletin Qantas Businesswoman of the Year and has been named Designer of the Year by Australian fashion industry circles. Carla has been a judge of the Ethnic Business Awards since its inception in 1988. You don't get a much better bunch than that, do you? A special thank you to all of our esteemed judges for lending their time, their expertise and their ongoing support. Now, I know we're all going to have a fantastic evening tonight. Even our finalists are going to have a great evening, even though they're all incredibly nervous, biting their nails to the quick right now as they await the judges' findings. Very soon we'll get some idea of just how difficult a job those judges have had. We'll be taking a look at the nominees in the small business section of the awards. You are watching the 2008 Ethnic Business Awards. <laughs> Thank you.
When we return, we'll be taking a look at the nominees in the small business category of the awards.